great new superhighway. The face of the earth is cleared to make way for the farmer's plow. And under the earth, coal is torn loose to give us heat, light, and power. The force that moves mountains and does all this work? Dynamite, one of man's most useful tools. To explode the dynamite, detonators, more commonly called blasting caps, are needed. They're safe and useful in trained hands, but dangerous when handled by boys or girls or inexperienced adults. This story is about blasting caps. You said it was an attack bomber. It is. It is not. It's a fighter. Bomber. Oh, what do girls know about planes? I know a lot about planes. My daddy flies one, you know. Besides, it says so right there on the box. That's what I said it was, an attack bomber. You said it was a fighter. Did I, Tag? Why would he say it was a fighter if it was a bomber? Chuck knows more about planes than you or your dad. Yeah, he just flies them. He's the best airline pilot in the country, and when I grow up, I'm going to be an airline pilot, too. Who ever heard of a girl airline pilot? My daddy says there's a first time for everything. What do you want to play with planes for? Why don't you play with dolls? You're a tomboy. Oh, quit picking on her. What did you say? She's not hurting you. Just because you live next door to her, you don't have to stick up for her. I'm not sticking up for her. Exactly. Well, if you'd rather play with girls than with me. Kathy, if you want to go to the airport with me to meet Daddy, you better come in and wash your hands. I'm coming, Mother. What's so special? Why are you going to the airport? It's Daddy's birthday, and we're going to have a birthday party. We want to have ice cream and cake? Sure, and steak. And we're going to cook it right over there, outside, on our new grill. And just our family's going to be there. No boys. Mm. Who wants to come to your old party, anyhow? Mm. Oh, let her go. What'll we do? Let's try our bites. OK. I'll get some cookies. Fighters, bombers, so what? Doggone girl, think she's so smart. Are we all set for the party? You bet. And we're going to cook right outside on our new grill. <laughs> Kathy, you've been such a good girl. I've got a present for you on my birthday. Oh, Daddy, is it a cowboy outfit? You bet it is, honey. can fix it. That's Anthem. Hey, Mr. Barrow. Hi, fellas. What you doing way out here? Taking a ride, but something's wrong with my bike. Well, bring it over. Let's have a look at it. I used to be pretty good at fixing bikes, if I do say so. Can you fix it so I can ride at home? Well, I reckon. I got some tools back there in the shack. Say, why don't you fellas go around back and pick yourselves an apple? The trees are loaded with them. Gee, thanks. Come on, Chuck. Race it. OK. Ah, oh, come on. 
beat you again. Why do I get my bike fixed? Race you home. Okay. That Mr. Barrow is nice. Yeah. Well, I'd like to build roads and buildings the way he does. Wouldn't you? Oh, I guess it'd be okay. But I'd rather be a pilot. Like Kathy's dad? Maybe. That Kathy thinks she's so smart. You know, I bet if we got back before they finished the party, they'd give us some ice cream. People always have ice cream and cake on birthdays. What's that, Chuck? What is it? Sort of like a firecracker. I saw some kids put one under a tin can and set it off. Boy, it made a loud noise. Let's do it. Wait, I got a better idea. Why? Kathy and her dad are building a fire in their grill, aren't they? Sure, but what's that? We'll sneak up and drop it in. It'll go bang. And boy, then we'll see how smart that Kathy is. It'll scare the daylights out of her. You think we should do it? Sure, it'll be fun. We'll sneak up, drop it in, and then hide. And watch their faces when it goes off. Suppose somebody gets hurt. Nobody will get hurt. It's just like a firecracker. Come on, let's get our bikes. Okay. Race it. Got it fixed. Thanks a lot. Come on, Tag. We will be late. Oh, you boys got a big date, huh? I'll say we Come on, Tag. I've changed my mind. I don't want to do it. Oh, for Pete's sake, why not? I just don't want to, that's all. Okay, I'll do it myself. What's he up to? Uh, nothing. Just a joke he's going to play on someone. Uh, well, got to get this stuff loaded on the truck. How about if I help you? Okay, Tag. Hey, leave that alone, son. Put it down easy now. You load the tools on the truck. I'll take care of these. You got to be mighty careful with caps. We don't let boys handle them. They're too dangerous. What are they? Electric blasting caps. We need them to set off dynamite. Did you say they were dangerous? Oh, uh, you're doggone right they are. Look here. This little cap is filled with a high-powered explosive. An electric current sets it off. And when this cap goes off, that sets off the dynamite, see? Now, because these caps are very powerful, they're very dangerous, especially if they're handled carelessly or get into the hands of children or somebody who doesn't understand them. You could stand 200 feet from one of these things when it exploded, and the flying metal could wound you or put an eye out. But Chuck said, I mean, I thought it wouldn't hurt you. Let me show you something. You see that old shoe over there, Tag? Now. If you were to put a blasting cap in it and set it off, it would give you some idea of how dangerous a blasting cap can really be. Babe Ruth, with his mighty swing, never did do a baseball what a little blasting cap can do. Kids have been known to set off blasting caps under a tin can. And you don't even have to be holding them to get hurt. You see? They're like a hand grenade. A hand grenade? Yes, dangerous as a hand grenade. Why, only a couple of weeks ago on a construction job not far from here, a boy found a cap, and he started to hammer it with a stone to see what would happen. That boy's right hand was crippled. He'll never play baseball again. Could it kill you? Yep, might even do that. But I thought it just made a noise like a big firecracker. It does, and so does a hand grenade. Chuck found something that looks sort of like that, but not exactly. Now, uh, wait a minute. Does it look like this? This is a different kind, but just as dangerous. If you ever find a cap, don't touch it. Leave it where it is and tell someone who knows something about them. Remember, one of them can cripple or blind you for life. Hey, where are you going?
Well, please tell him to hurry. The fire's almost ready. Good, I'm starved. We'll sneak up and drop him in the fire. It'll go bang. You don't even have to hold them to get hurt. They're like a hand grenade. I'll bet it scares the daylights out of Kathy. One of them can cripple or blind you for life. Dangerous when boys and girls touch them. We'll drop it in the fire and hide out. Mike put an eye out. Mike put an eye out. Mike put an eye out. They're like a hand grenade. Might even kill you. Might even kill you. Howdy, cowgirl. Pick him up, Bombre. Bang, gotcha. things are dangerous. You, you could have killed somebody. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. It was just a, a joke. Joke, huh? This could have wounded any one of us if a piece of metal had hit us right. Or it might have put out an eye. I've been in air battles in a lot of tight places. But I've never had a closer call than just now. Blasting caps are powerful explosives. Do you know that now? All right, now I want you to promise never to touch a blasting cap. If you ever see one, don't move it, don't touch it with anything. Leave it just where it is and call someone who knows how to handle them. Now I'm going to take this over to Mr. Barrow myself. Can I go with you, Daddy? Sure, Kathy. Were you really scared, Daddy? Scared? Of course I was. When I think what could have happened to you, I get cold shivers. But they say children learn best from experience. So if you've learned never, ever to touch a blasting cap, well, then perhaps it was worthwhile. Come on. Take a good look at this blasting cap, and don't touch it. Here's another kind. Don't touch it. This one's a little different. Don't touch it. Here's one more. Remember what it looks like, and don't touch it. If you ever see any of these blasting caps anywhere, don't move them. Don't touch them with anything. Leave them just where they are and call a policeman, a fireman, a sheriff, or tell your mother and father. 